What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Home Repairs. Today we have a problem. We've been in Terre Haute, Indiana for, but well, we stayed longer than we should have. We're approaching two weeks. This is our longest stay out here yet. And even though the temperature isn't bad out here, I think it's only 80, it's 80, it's 80 degrees today. We've noticed that the air conditioning is having a problem keeping up. So we're going to have to go into the dungeon, also known as my uncle's basement, and we're going to have to see what's going on. I think we're going to have a very severely clogged A-coil. So we've got Nick with us today. Uh, we took everything off of the porch. We've got to get this plywood off. Nick, can you handle that or do you need help with it? No. You can get it. Let's move this. Uh, let's move this. Be careful. There's a couple nails in that one. Keep your eyes out for those nails. Let's move these out of the way, get the plywood off. There you go, there you go. Oh boy. This, uh, <laughs> I don't ever look forward to, to getting under here. I really don't. Oh wow, there's a, I forgot that giant hole is there. This. There's so much work to be done to this house. I love the place so much, but unfortunately I'm out of money. Like, money's important, and I just don't have any more money. Oh boy, there's critters, spiders. Oh wow, lots of spiders and spider webs. Yeah, Nick, hold this up for me by that corner. I'll lift this one up. Oh yeah, oh wow. What is that thing? Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay, we're gonna need a broom because all of this, that's there's nothing but spider webs down there. And if you think I'm just gonna walk right into that, you're out of your damn mind. All right, he's got a light for us. Uh, there is a light down there. I don't know if it works. It's been a long time. Go ahead and turn that thing on just so we have, uh, have some light. All right. Be careful stepping on this because that's kind of, I would recommend just step this one straight to here. And then the second step, it's all right. You can step on it, I guess. Oh boy. What is down here? A lot of bricks. I did clean it up. Um, I took the broom and I really cleaned out everything. It is so cold down here. The light works. Oh, it does. It does. Uh, oh, there's two. Ooh, uh, we may need that broom. It is freezing down here. The air conditioning must be venting out under here somewhere. One of the something's not right. Let me see. The, give me that broom. All right. We've got spider webs everywhere. Good God Almighty. Okay, guys, give me a minute. <laughs> I ain't. I ain't doing this. I'll come back as soon as I knock out these spider webs. Actually, Nick, you want to knock out spider webs? Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, hand it to me. I'll do it. What do you think, Nick? You like it? No, it's creepy down there. It's creepy? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough down there. Um, it's pretty rough down there. I think what we're going to do is, uh, I've cleaned out most of the spider webs. There's a lot of dust and stuff coming up. I don't think we should be breathing that stuff right now. Uh, plus, we just disturbed, you know, a lot of spiders' nests. It's probably been about a year or so since I was down there, and that, uh, there's a lot going on down there. Um, the A coil, I'm certain, is going to be in pretty rough shape. It's going to need cleaning, which means we're going to need to get some tools and stuff to do this job. But before we can do it, I got to get down there and make sure I can actually service this. I, I have no idea. Uh, my uncle's friend Les installed this heater. There's a lot going on down there. Um, <laughs> there's a there's like a sump pump. There's pipes that are running everywhere. I have no idea what all this stuff does. So before we can do anything else, I'm going to let this air out a little bit. And then we'll get back down there. We'll take a closer look at everything and see if this A coil is something that I'm even going to be able to service myself. All right, it's time to go back. We got this bright light. Hopefully, it doesn't cause any problems with the filming. Be very careful. This whole thing, I feel like the whole house just needs to be redone. All right, let's look for creepy crawlies. I think I did a really good job. 
uh, knocking down the majority of the spider webs that were in the way. There's still a ton though. And one of the things that, is this concrete? Oh wow, that is, that's concrete. So before Les died, he told me that he actually came down here and busted out this floor because there wasn't enough room to fit this heating and air conditioning unit down here. So he had to bust out the concrete and he had to install this whole thing. Um, is it code? Mm, yeah, probably not. I'm guessing this is our main water supply line into the house right here. Looks like it's got a little meter on it, a shutoff valve, an emergency shutoff valve right there that runs up and starts dividing off into the rest of the house. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what happens. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. There's a gas shutoff valve right there for the heater, several outlets. The unit just kicked on some extra wiring. There's a junction box with no cap. Wow, this is a mess under here. I would love to know where all of this cold air conditioning is getting lost at because it is freezing cold in this basement. And that's definitely a problem. Um, so this is going to be, what do they call this? An updraft unit. You have your intake from the kitchen right here, which comes down, comes over and feeds into the bottom of the air handler right here. And I changed this filter when I first got the house. And as you can see, there's a bit of a gap, but let's see, let's see, oh wow. Oh wow. Did you hear how the air conditioning yeah. started flowing better? <laughs> I'm gonna say that that was, can we even see light through it? Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, you can see light through it, but it's, it's, that's, that's really bad. We're gonna need another filter, Nick. Those are up in the uh, kitchen closet, in the pantry. All right, so we'll put a new filter in here. That'll, uh, that'll definitely help. Let's take a look down in there. Can you see anything? Main thing I'm concerned about is, is it wet? It's not wet, so that's good. Um, boy, oh boy. Does this just pull up and pop out? This is an older unit. Actually, it looks like it's not in too bad a shape. I wonder what year this is. This is 823 of 2004. No kidding. It's, uh, it's 20 years old. It's an older unit. But honestly, it doesn't look that bad on the inside. It really does not. Um, I don't know what all this is. I guess this... Somebody, somebody's gonna have to tell me what this, I don't know what this thing is. I thought this was like some kind of a sump pump, but it almost looks like it's a drain with a pump. I don't, I don't understand. So this right here is your A-coil. This is your A-coil assembly right here. Oh, look at this. What is this? Is this for carbon monoxide? It is, that's for carbon monoxide and it just flows under the house. And you can see all the spiders right there now. Um, yeah, carbon monoxide is just the exhaust gases. Instead of running out of the house, are just running right down here. So that's, that's really nice. I can see some of the uh, ventilation that has got major gaps in it down here. So that's yet another problem. The A-coil is gonna be a lot of fun because it looks like this needs to come out to even get to it. Cleaning this A-coil may not be the easiest thing to do because all of this is in the way. So you need to remove this pipe, which is easily done. But then you've got this pipe that I have no idea what this one goes to. Is it just stuck in there? Does it just come out? It does. It just comes out. But what is this? I, it goes down to this motor. I don't know. I'm not an AC guy, so I don't know. What I do know is that if we could get this out of the way without breaking anything, we could then take the screws out for the A-coil and we could start taking this apart. Um, well, it's too bad you don't have an access from the side here. That's really too bad. 
great. Yeah. I don't know for sure that we're going to... Well, you can hear the leaks. The ventilation in this place is just... It's leaking everywhere. It is leaking absolutely everywhere. You get me a new filter? The sugar kind of jumped on it. The dog jumped on it. Well, that's fine. That's... That's fine. I mean... It's not going to be perfect, but, well, I guess it's better than nothing. There was something, I don't know where it went. I'd like to cover this up because it's actually pulling air from the basement instead of from the house. And although the air is cool down here, it'd be nice to have, well, there you go, just, just yeah, that did nothing. Okay, well, we really need to get this off. Obviously, this is this is a drain. I don't know what this tube is that's going up, wrapping around into this weird pipe that goes out, and then it goes down, and then it looks like it runs into here, which says hot. I I don't know. I don't I don't understand. Ooh, big spider big spider oh yeah he's getting it too he's not happy so i guess i need to fuck what a dead squirrel yeah oh, my. oh wow that's brutal man that's 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 brutal <laughs> that's brutal man uh this is not ideal I don't know what this pipe goes to. I guess we'll check outside of the house. Um, let's just go outside and see what's going on. It should be right about where the kitchen window is. So outside of the dungeon, so I'm not gonna call it a basement, I'm gonna call that a dungeon. Outside of the dungeon, ah, we have water pouring out of this. What is this? It's broken. It used to be attached to this. And it used to run out to the yard instead of the foundation. But it looks like somebody hit it with a, with a lawnmower or a weed eater. Interesting. So I don't know what that is, but it was just shooting water. It's got to be the drain for the AC unit. But then we've got this, and we've also got this. That doesn't seem to move. That's very stationary this one well this is all this is this is all just kind of stuck together okay nick i need you to go into the basement take this camera and the white pipe that's in the ceiling i need you to shine it on it or point the point the camera at it and hopefully we'll know which one is moving. I'm hoping that this goes directly to the heater. All right, climb down there. All right, so I've taken everything apart. We just took all these pipes off. They're not glued, they're not held to anything. We've got a ton of cold air blowing out from this small line. That's a hot line, a lot of cold air just, I mean, it's blasting right out. A lot of cold air, bla <coughs> excuse me, blasting out of here too. I'm going to take these screws off right here and see what that gets us. I, I don't know if it's really gonna get us anywhere, but this is the first step to getting to the A-coil. I've, I've got an assumption that the triangle is going like this, the triangle facing the top, air coming through the bottom, blowing through. So hopefully we take this off. There'll be a cover on the inside of the A-coil and hopefully we have access to get that opened up. We're gonna need to turn everything off, probably get some silicon once this is all clean. We're packed out with insulation, packed out with silicon rubber, something we need to pack these because we're losing a ton of air from this whole area right here all right back to the basement i got a couple flathead screwdrivers i've shut the ac off i know you should turn the power off i know and did i turn the power off no i did not i'm going to take these little screws out right here i'm not going to make you watch because it's boring and uh i wouldn't want to watch somebody take screws out of an air conditioner unit myself so I'm not going to have you guys do it either. Let me get these screws out and let's see 
what lies within. All right, I saved you guys a lot of time and I took out a lot of screws. Thankfully, this is one of those A-coils that is removable while it's still connected. I gotta give a shout out to Les. So I think I figured out what all of this is. That is some sort of a sump pump. He did not join the pipes together. This plumbing is all just stuck together. It's not actually adhered, which is probably not good. But if you need to disassemble to get into the A-coil, this is excellent because I'm able to take everything apart and we can now slide the A-coil out. I found deep in here, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but inside the heat exchanger, do you see that thing in the middle of your screen? That is some kind of insulation that fell off of something and it's literally laying on top of the heat exchanger. That is absolutely a fire waiting to happen. Now looking up in here, I'm surprised at how clean the vents are. They're actually very, very clean. So this thing's doing some pretty amazing filtration. I'm looking under here and this looks like a great place for a filter. I. I really think you could put a filter in here and it would fit nicely. Um, in fact, that may be where the filter was supposed to go. With that said, the uh, Nick hold this light about right here. Uh, take a look in here at the heat exchanger. I mean, it's, it's dirty for sure. I mean, not the heat exchanger, but the A-coil. It's definitely dirty, but the cool thing about this is you can actually very carefully, you gotta watch all the copper lines up here because you don't wanna bend or kink anything. Um, but very carefully, you can slide this A-coil out and hopefully we can get it out far enough where we can get under it and clean what I'm assuming is a ton of dirt and dust out from under it. Let me see if I can slide this out and we'll get you guys a better view. All right, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get this A-coil all the way out, but I'm honestly surprised that it's not worse than it is. I got a brick holding it up right here. We could actually bring it up just a little more if we need to. But I need to reach in here and pull this out because this, I'm surprised, has not caught on fire. Great, it's fiberglass, so now my hands are going to be itchy. Let's try to get some light up here for you guys. I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to put you guys in here, if I can, without dropping this on the heat exchanger. Anyway, let me see if I can get you guys in here for a better look at what we're seeing you can see those A-coils or see the A-coil? It's dirty, but I honestly expected it was going to be a lot, lot worse. Like I said, I'm not saying it's not dirty, especially at the top there. It's pretty grody. Um, what we're going to do now that I've got the A-coil out, i got access to it. I'm going to run to the uh, local Menards store. We're going to get some coil cleaner. It's the first thing we need is a quite a bit of coil cleaner and we're going to try to get in here and clean up this uh this a coil with a brush they sell a, brush, a special brush to really comb that stuff down we'll get all of that out we'll put some coil cleaner in it and then with any luck it should be good to go and the ac should be better than ever all right we're back i had to i had to go do some shopping you know what it's like when you go to the hardware store you don't just go get what you need you get you get everything and we did some shopping didn't we nick yeah we did we did um i got my drill and i got a bit and i think that's going to be enough because we have a we have a little electrical problem here and i'm going to tell you right now this is extremely dangerous obviously electricity is turned on to the house but when the uh, trees fell um on the power lines there it ripped, I think they call that like a weather head up there at the top. It, uh, it ripped the siding and everything off. Now here's what we got behind this, which I believe they said is asbestos. I think that's what, <laughs> I think that's what they said. Something like that. This is, uh, this is toxic. Um, but there is a board that goes right behind here. It's, I don't know, it looks like it's maybe two inches wide maybe an inch thick, so like a two by one, I guess. It sits under here about like this. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to drill pilot holes. I got some lag bolts, these are T30s, and they're uh, number 16 by three and a half. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drill some pilot holes through this outside layer, and I'm slowly gonna take these lag bolts and just kinda drill them on in there. And then for the head, it looks like we need a new uh, one of these 
little, I don't know what you call it, but I bought it, you know, this thing there to help hold all that together. I'll probably run a couple of them down. So, and I got a T30. We also got um, some brushes for the eight coil. We got some coil cleaner. Uh, you don't have to rinse it, but I'm going to. We also got some, uh, some of this tape to help cover up the leaks that we have coming out of the A coil. So, and some plumber's putty. We'll probably not need this. I'll just throw it on a shelf somewhere, but I'm gonna climb up there and uh, I guess, Nick, you can get out of the way. I don't want you anywhere near it. Come over here, stay out from under those power lines. I also bought that ladder. Um, I think it's a, what is that, 16 foot ladder? I think it's a 16 foot ladder because I'm gonna have to get on the roof Maybe we'll do it in this video, maybe not. But we've got a bunch of twigs and sticks and stuff getting stuck up there, especially on the front porch. I need to get up there and clear all those uh, sticks, all that dead vegetation off. So you want to hold the camera? Oh uh, yeah. And I'll get up there and uh, and do some work. Yeah, this is uh, this is safe for sure. <laughs> I don't like it, but I mean, what are you going to do, right? Um, I really need to move this ladder just a hair out of the way here. Let's try to get through. Maybe right here. And we'll do one maybe right here just to get started. Here we go. Let's uh let's grab a couple lag bolts and see if we can't uh you get scared? No. Yeah. He doesn't care if I die. It's all right. Let's try to get a couple lag bolts in here. All right. Let's see if uh, let's see if this is going to work. I, I sure hope it does. These are big lag bolts, man. So yeah, they are. let's see what it does. Is that pulling it tight? Yeah. All right. I told you, didn't I? Hand me another one. There we go. We'll throw another one of these bad boys in here. It's another four incher. I think this going. I think this going to work because this was this was rough. My biggest concern is that it comes apart right there. That's uh, like I said, this is not. It's not it. Damn mosquitoes! I'm going to be lumped up tomorrow, man. Let's see how this does. seems pretty good that seems pretty good too I sure hate doing it this way but I mean there ain't much I can do about it I almost wonder if I even need to drill the pilot holes or if I would be fine just uh we'll go ahead and drill the pilot holes anyway just for just for safety <laughs> again uh, don't try this at home that's for sure Boy, that's a, uh, yeah. All right, Nick, hand me another, uh, another lag bolt there. It doesn't matter which one at this, so grab me the, the four incher right there. Seems like it's stuck on something there. Yeah, it's caught up on something. I don't know what. Well, we got this side pretty well knocked out. It looks a ton better. The only downside is that very top piece up there. For the life of me, I just, I was having too much trouble getting it to suck back in. Maybe the wood up there is rotten, but I mean, it looks a ton better. Is this the right way to do things? No, no, it's not. Is this the cheap and easy way to do things to get things you know <laughs> going again yeah yeah it is i put a couple of these uh whatever you call these just to help because there was nothing holding any of this loose wire so i put those there and then we added several going up all the way up to the very top where that rain head is right there everything is back in place and looking good i think now i'm going to climb up on the roof um I've got some sticks and twigs up there. I guess I'll carry you guys with me and we can try to get some of that stuff 
off the top of the house. I should really be wearing pants for this, I think. I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We'll do it in shorts. Well, here is our mess from this lovely tree that it's made on top of my porch. This is really all I need to worry about. There's quite a bit over here. Um, it says don't step above this. So I've got just a little bit further I can go. Let me finish getting up here and uh, we'll clean this mess off the roof. We don't want this stuff sitting up here rotting away. All right, I'm gonna take this broom and uh, how many people sweep their roof, I wonder? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen anybody sweeping their roof, but uh, I paid $24,000 for this roof. So what that means is, see all that stuff that start, it starts rotting up here. I don't wanna, I got a lifetime warranty on the roof, which is really nice. Um, I shouldn't have to ever have to pay for any repairs to the roof again. But with that said, I take pride in ownership and I wanna make sure it's taken care of. So let me sweep this mess off and then I can, uh, maybe I'll jump down. Yeah. yeah, I ain't jumping down. Well, guys, I climbed up there. Everything over there looks good over here. And this is where all that mess was. Got it all cleaned up. Same thing over there in front of the porch. Got that all cleaned up as well. So, whew, I think I'm a, this is a, this is a tall roof, guys. I don't know how well it comes out on camera, but this is a, I understand why it costs so much to do this roof now. There's a lot of sharp angles on all sides of the house. And I'm here to tell you, personally, I'm not a roofer, but I think the roof came out great. Let me get down from here before I break something. Let's go fix that air conditioner. Guys, <laughs> it's time to go work on the air conditioner now. It's still daylight out and it feels great. It's like 80 degrees out here today. I'm so happy with the way that came out because that was really, really sketching me out. Nick is over there cleaning up all the sticks that I just wiped off of the, uh, wipe off the roof there. But um, that looks so much better. I know it's not perfect and I'll tell you something, there are times where I'm sitting out on that front porch and I'm enjoying the weather and I start thinking about all of the liabilities associated with this house, man. Uh, it, it needs complete rehab. It really does. You know, thankfully it's got new roof, new windows now, but the rest of the house needs a complete rehab in and out. It needs kind of like what JR is doing to his little mini resort out there. It needs something like that. You know, all the walls need to be knocked out. Things need to be rerouted. It needs new plumbing. It needs new wiring, obviously. It needs new siding. It needs to be leveled and supported in some places. It needs a new back porch. It, it needs, it needs a lot. But like I said, I can only do what I can do, man. And sometimes it's overwhelming. Sometimes it feels like I'm chasing my tail, throwing good money after bad because it feels like I'll never be able to afford to bring this house back to where it needs to be. But I'm just going to keep doing what I can do to keep it going until hopefully someday I can afford to have this place completely rehabbed in and out. Let's get down in the dungeon. Let's see if we can knock out this A-coil. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got a spray bottle. It's just got water in it. You don't have to rinse this coil cleaner. This is not the coil cleaner I wanted. I wanted the actual A coil cleaner, but this, from what I was told, will work just fine. It's got a thin scrubbing cap. I guess we could try to use that, but just in case that doesn't work, especially towards the top, I bought these brushes and I'm probably gonna use the soft bristled brush, the black one right there towards the top. Let's see if I can get that stuff out. So one more time, I wanna squeeze you guys under here so you can clearly see what we're working with, how nasty that is, right? And before you put your coil cleaner in there, it's best to get a brush in there or something and see if you can't scrape this stuff out. So let me get out a brush and let's see if we can't start cleaning some of this mess up out of these coils. I'm gonna try to get you guys in here where maybe you could see a little of what's going on. And I know the video's sideways. Guys, there ain't, uh, there ain't a whole lot I could do about it. There ain't a whole lot of room in here, but the idea is get up in here. See what I mean? And scrape. Scrape as much of this off as you can before you go using that cleaner. Look at this. Look how much I already got off all that hair. That's the goal. Gently take your time. There's no rush. Try to get as far up at the top as you can get. Not to worry. I know you're thinking I'm dropping that stuff all over my heat exchangers and it's going to cause a fire. I'm ahead of you. I threw a towel in there with the light on top of it. And look at all this we've already got out. This thing is gonna run so much better. All right, I've done a lot of scraping. That's about as much as I can do. I'm gonna get you guys in here. Maybe you could tell me how it looks. Does it look a little better? 
I hope it does because that's uh that's about all I got as far as the scrubbing goes so I think now it's time to get that cleaner in there spray the coils and then uh rinse it and we'll see how it does all right you ready to see what the inside of this thing looks like take a look at that yeah let me get you up in there take a look pretty gross it's doing its job um i'm hoping that a lot of that comes out because uh it's it smells like lemon but it also kind of irritates my lungs a little bit so i'm gonna let it continue doing its thing and we'll come check on it here in a little while all right i've left this stuff sitting in here for quite a while i've cleaned as best i can although i feel like it's just not good enough truthfully let me see if i can get you guys in here well it does look better again i apologize for the awkward angles that i got to get you guys in in here but there it is i don't know i think it still looks kind of kind of dirty but i guess that's uh that's about as good as she's gonna get guys let me get you in this end too here it is over there i don't know i'll uh i'll spray it off with a little bit of water then we're gonna button this thing up and hope that everything's okay with it looks like a little bit of of the uh foam stuff ran down and it's running outside of the unit down there i assume that's fine let's finish cleaning it up and button it up and we'll power it on and see if it does anything all right guys it is uh it is it's hot down here i've got her all buttoned up put back together it looks pretty good i guess we got all the plumbing hooked back up again i uh taped up those gaping excuse me those gaping holes that were allowing tons of cool air out i guess there's really only one thing left to do we got the sump pump hooked back up all the drains are hooked up everything is buttoned up the way it's supposed to be we'll turn on the power i guess we'll find out real quick if she's gonna pop or uh thinks things are gonna run like it's supposed to all right guys moment of truth it's either gonna come on or it's gonna pop We'll come over to the vent and we're going to cross our fingers. I'll be, wow, there's a lot of air coming out of there. Good Lord. Oh, it smells like lemon. Oh, that is nice. And is it going to get cold? Yep, there it is. Oh, ice cold already. I'm going to call this one a win, guys. <laughs> that was a lot of work. But you know how much it would cost if you paid somebody to do it? Nothing short of a small fortune. I mean, you're talking a minimum of $500 upwards to a thousand, depending on how much work they've actually got to do. There are some cases where you've got to, you got to cut the lines. You got to push all the fluid, the Freon into the compressor and seal it. And then you got to cut the A-coil out to clean it. And in some cases it's just too far gone and it's actually got to be replaced. In this case, the A-coil, I've seen worse. And I've seen better. This one looks like it's stained with a lot of nicotine, but as far as the gunk and the buildup in the coils, it's actually preventing it from cooling properly. I'm gonna say we got that fixed because I'm sitting here next to this air conditioning and I'm telling that I can feel the air just it's blowing out of the vents like nothing else, man. Um, 75 degrees in here, I guarantee you. Give it just a little time, we'll be back down to 70 degrees in no time, and I can finally cool off. Well, I think that's about it for the housework today uh, we've been in the dungeon got a new filter clean the a coil seems to be working fine last thing i want to check is all that air it was blowing out of there is no longer blowing out of there uh, but you can clearly see air blowing i mean it's coming out of everywhere man these vents are oh yeah it's definitely far from completely sealed up but i guess that just means the underside of the house is going to stay nice and cool i got a couple tools to pick up down there and I'm gonna call this a wrap. So with that said, forgive me. I don't even care at this point. It's it's hot. It's been a day we got a lot accomplished. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed today's video. I, I really enjoy it. I know it's uh you know it's a lot of work and the house is kind of you know it's it's rough. The house is kind of rough. I don't care. Um, regardless, I love this place. This place is part of my heart. It's part of my family. Um, I don't care how rough it is. I enjoy being here more than I enjoy being back at home. I love this house. I feel more comfortable in this house than I feel anywhere else. So uh, 
I'll do what I got to do to keep this place going. And maybe someday we'll be able to afford to actually have this place completely remodeled and done right. I got to get out of here. Again, if you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.